was nice food. Bologna, fried bologna with cheese. Had to have it shipped here. They don't have bologna out here. Oop, about to head the wrong way. <laughs> Let me see here. Ooh. Man, this thing's real peppy. It's got a bit too much power for what it is, really. No, looks clear. Every time I'm on this side of the road and I see a vehicle coming, I keep thinking, oh, I gotta get over to the right. <laughs> but of course, over here, you don't drive on the right side of the road. So it's taken a bit of time for me to get used to. And I love all of these little fences along the side of the road. The rows of hedges. It's just beautiful view. Okay, I can't really see too good how clear it is, so I'm going to assume it's clear enough. To slow this thing down. Here's my turn. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, this thing should pull that trailer as long as I take it easy with it. Oh, well. Yeah, that's not going to do it. I'm going to sell this. All the equipment I'm going to be using isn't going to work with this thing. <coughs> Alright, so that one's sold. Let me see if there's another vehicle I can use. Oh, well, they got a nice little road rage lizard. Uh, here's the pickup TT. Let's see, 200 horsepower. So double the horsepower. Let me see what else we can get. Um, all right, we'll see how this one does. Nice. You already have one in stock. Crew cab. Everything. All right. So we'll see how this one does. Oh, nice. Really love this look. I really hope this one handles pulling that really good. I'm going to go with that aerial view. Oh, it's okay. I just hit the tire. Yeah, this one definitely handles it better than the other one. I'm not going to drive fast with it though. Let me head over here and go ahead and hook this one up 
to the equipment it needs to pull. If I just take and set these down here, and then try to hook up this trailer or this windrower, I mean. Yeah, see, this gives me a whole lot more room to move around. Okay. There we go. Now I can just pick this back up. Alright. So we're good to go. Let me go ahead and hop back in the pickup. Yeah, still lifting that thing way up in the air. So yeah, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot with this truck here. But it's doing better than the other one. What is that? Oh, that is a snake. Looky there. Oh, wow. Look at that snake. <laughs> Looks like they've got a little pet that helps keep mice out of this area. So that's good. All right, let's get going. Get one of those aerial views here. Yeah, this is way over this truck's weight limit. But it's gonna work. Don't wanna have to stop and start again, so go ahead and make this turn real quick. Oh before that car gets up here. <laughs> and then I ended up plowing into a wall. See how far up that drone can fly. Nice. <clears throat> so yeah, I bought this drone. It works with the tablet I've got. It's really nice. And as long as you're just pulling an empty trailer, this truck does great. Now that front loader, that thing I'm only going to use it whenever I'm actually going to uh, take care of silage. So once I take it where it's going, it's not going to need to go anywhere else. Man, this is a nice truck. I really want this facing the other way. Gonna have to go with that aerial view again. Man, this aerial view comes in real handy. Okay, so we swing this away around. Have my trailer assist off. Barely made that. <laughs> nice. Alright. It's a bit much for this truck to pull, but it's pulling it. Normally, 
normally I wouldn't buy a new truck to pull something that pushes its limits but I really needed a truck that I can drive from one place to another fairly easily and quickly with and I knew that little bitty truck would not handle what this one can do and they gave me a really good deal in this package It's clear. All right. Give it a bit of gas and see how fast it'll go. Whoa! -ho. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. It did not want me to do that. All right. So they said I could leave this here overnight, so I'm just gonna park it over here. here crank this baby up and take this back let me see I can actually um everything I've got here I can go ahead take to the fields that I need to run because I need to take care of them I'm not ready to plow the fields I have yet but let's see well let's see field four I could go ahead and sow that with with grass. Yeah, that'll work. Alright, so looks like it's quicker to just head like I'm going back home. So JD is pulling pretty good. Nice. All right. <clears throat> well, they did sell me a good tractor. They already had a good setup for me, but well, I made sure I came up here with a bit more money because. I wanted to make sure that when I got started I wasn't going to fall behind so the tractors that they had set up for me I sold what I could of that set up. I still have the harvester. Uh, let me see and a few other things. I hope they don't get upset that I sold the equipment that they bought for me but they were wanting to make sure that I had a good supply of equipment and all to be able to get started on see nope I don't need well uh, it would normally be quicker I'm just gonna go on up here to the intersection cause I could follow that all the way across it would be quicker but this be easier ooh almost hit them Blind spot, major blind spot. Oh, overhead view, that's right. Okay, so this is where I need to turn. All right, yeah. All right, this is my turn. Now they said that this road here isn't used hardly at all by anybody. This is mainly just for the farmers. So I should be good running full speed through here. Of course, until I get to a turn. <laughs> All right. <coughs> so 
Okay. It's a bit rough, but that's my driving, not the equipment. Back home, I didn't use this big of equipment, although back home I was doing smaller work on smaller farms, so I didn't really need this much. Okay, uh, let's see, according to the GPS map, I should be coming across, whoop, 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 whoop. That's, that's where I need to go. Okay, let's get that aerial view again. Oh, wow, that is gorgeous. Okay, so field four is mine. Let me just do this. This will be a lot easier. Uh, let me see. Climb over here. Come back here. Climb over this. And then I come back here and open up. Oh. Man, those little locks are nice, but when they're rusted, they're hard to use. Alright. Instead of backing this all the way up there. I'm actually going to drive it up here. Turn around and come back. That's going to be a lot quicker and easier. Okay. Looks like I'm probably going to need a bit more powerful tractor because of how harsh it was for this one to try and get up that hill. But the first field I need to work on is going to be field number four. It's smallest. So I'll get it out of the way. Swing a bit wide for this. Can I make it with the mowing decks on the front? Yeah. Alright. So let me see how good this is. Ooh. Switching back and forth real quick isn't a good idea. Alright. So we're going to take, we're going to unfold this. We're going to unfold that one. Lower them both. Oops. And cut both of them on. And then we're going to mow. Nice, all right. This is doing a great job cutting. All right, so I'm going to leave the wind rower. I'll come back later with it to bring all of this in together because I don't want to overload the <laughs> tractor trying to mow all of this. Because it's hard enough with these heels. Yeah, I'm gonna swing out around these trees. This is a gorgeous island. The flight from the U.S. to here was a bit long. And then I get here and immediately get started working, so... Uh. I just don't like sitting still. Uh. 
Make sure I miss these trees. Don't want to damage the equipment I've got. I'm already bad enough driver, right? <laughs> okay. So far, so good. This handles it really well. It's about as good as that Valtra that's like 5 horsepower more. I did some research on it before. It'd give you about 5 more horsepower than this, but it costs about 40,000 more. And go with that overhead view, it makes it easier to see. <laughs> Let's see how this cruise control does on this. Well, the cruise control is keeping up pretty good. I'm just going to mow a straight line across here. This is a really good idea that they've got using these uh, drones to get a live shot of where your vehicle is in the field and all. And the zoom, oh man, this thing can really zoom out. Yeah, I think I made a good decision moving up here um, yeah, it's it's a bit different than where I was in the states I was living on the east coast it's nice in the states um, you know beautiful countryside uh, I lived in North Carolina so in North Carolina you, you kind of have a uh, beach so you got like plains foothills and uh, mountains like all in one state so you know the weather can be a bit tricky sometimes I've been told that up here it's about like the weather we've got back in North Carolina. Um, so I'm used to it. That shouldn't be an issue. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to call everybody soon and let them know how I'm doing and all. And let them know I made it safely. I know if I don't call my mom and tell her that I made it safely, she'll wring my neck. She'll make a trip up here just to do it. <laughs> She's a bit overprotective. My dad? Nah, not so much. I guess he figures that if I was going to end up doing something to get myself hurt, I'd let him know beforehand. So this is nice. This is a good good sit up here. I don't like this. I think I made a good choice. Uh, could I have gotten better equipment? Mm, I don't know. Maybe a more powerful tractor. I, I do need something that's going to have a bit more power later on, but I think this tractor is going to do everything that I need for a while. It's going to be pulling like double or triple duty because I'm going to be using it for everything. But I just don't want to spend all the money up front. I spent almost uh, 500000 out of the 800000 I had. I didn't even know for sure whether or not the 800000 would cover everything. I was just hoping. Looks like it will cover everything I needed to upgrade to. I could have gotten by with what I had, but... I mean, one trip at a time around here with a single mowing deck would have just taken forever on this. So I, I think I made a good choice. Not to say that small mowing deck and tractor that they started me with was bad. 
I'm pretty sure that they were a good deal. Not really a whole lot of conversation here when you're by yourself. <laughs> you may have to hire some people just to talk with them. <laughs> this field doesn't take long to do. That one over there closer to the lighthouse, though, that one's going to take a while. Yeah. I don't remember how big they said that one was, but yeah, it's ready to go too. I think after I get through with this field, I'm going to have to go ahead and call it quits for the day because I, <laughs> well, I did make a long trip over here and I really couldn't sleep too good. I was so anxious about what I'm going to be doing and all. I really didn't get much sleep on the trip over. So I should really try and get me some sleep after a while. Don't want to overdo it. So now I can grab that, move it out of the way. Backing it up should be all that I need to do. Well, that thing just whips around on you, don't it? Alright. So let's see. Get these mowing decks started back. Oops, missed a spot there. Wow. Boy, this thing's got some sharp turning. <coughs> well, it can get pretty close to the ground, too. this. Now they said the drones will only go so far away from you. 
That's about as far away from me as it'll get and still be able to control it. And I, it can't get out of my reach. That's the really cool thing. It can't get out of my reach. It will stay within range all the time. It kind of like links itself to my tablet. And I've got an app I can download which will link it to my phone. If I do that, then I should be able to just carry my phone instead of my tablet all the time. That's something I'm going to have to get them to do for me. Get them to show me how to do it. I don't really know how to do all of that. In fact, uh, not even sure how to activate the trailer assist on this thing. I think it's, I think it's the button over here, but uh, I'll wait until one of them shows me how to do it one day. <laughs> I don't want to hit anything and mess something up. It's bad enough that I run into stuff, right? brought an air mattress with me because I'm not sure how these bids are gonna be. I'm not too good with bids that are uncomfortable. Especially since I've got a little bit of back trouble from a work I did in a production plant, but hey, that's just sometimes some of the stuff that we have to deal with, right? I don't think I'm going to be finishing the rest of the wind rowing. I may just cut this and then tomorrow come back and do the wind rowing. It was a good idea though for my mom to suggest I make this journal as I, you know, make it into this new endeavor in my life. Uh, she's always encouraged me to do stuff like that, make journals or like any stories that I wanted to write, she encouraged me to write them down and <laughs> that way I can share them with other people. Uh, but she suggested that I do this video journal of my life as I venture out into this unknown to me uh, world. Uh, I love uh, British movies and things like that. I've always wanted to come out here to like Great Britain or something, but uh, I found out that uh, this island's in the UK and they had great job opportunities for a small island. There's a lot of tourists out here, especially out there at that lighthouse. They said they get visitors out there all the time for that. The fishing, they say, is great. Who knows, I might go fishing one day, uh, if it's available. I don't do much hunting though, fishing is like the closest I come to hunting. I'm just not really that into hunting. But uh, yeah, if uh, things go well, I can see myself living here for a very long time. I'd hate to have to move, especially after, you know, having all my equipment, clothes and everything, or not equipment, but uh, like furniture, clothes and everything uh, shipped over here, paid to have it all shipped over here, I'd, I hate to have to up and leave all of this behind, but I guess only time will tell. Does take a bit of patience, don't it? But I mean, when you've got such a gorgeous view, <laughs> can you really be upset or completely bored? I mean, just look at the view around. Ocean for as far as the eye can see. Oh man. 
I wonder how they handle natural disasters here. Probably should check that out before I came out here. <laughs> before I even bought the land out here. Should check to see what their procedures were. That's probably a good thing to always do whenever you go somewhere is uh, check and make sure that you're up to date on what the safety procedures are. Like in case there's a emergency or something like that. I was turning that one the wrong way, wasn't I? <laughs> oh man, just goes to show how tired I am after the flight out here. Okay, at this point I'm just gonna... Make a few shortcuts. You know, maybe tomorrow, before I start back doing my video journal, I may go around and talk with some of my some of my neighbors and see how they're doing. I might do that. I don't want to go and start knocking on their doors too early. Some of them may not like mornings like I do. So here's the last of it. Can I do this last little bit from inside the cabin of it? Hmm. 
Nice. Alright. So I'm done with that. Let me take this. I'll just shove it over here in the corner for now. <laughs> and I'm going to drive my tractor back home. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign out of here. I'm going to drive my tractor back home. And then in the morning, I'm going to bring the trailer back with me. So I'm going to go by and check on some of my neighbors and see how they're doing. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end the video journal. Mom, I hope you see this. And uh, I'm going to hopefully give you a call, get in touch with you before you see this. I'm going to upload it to YouTube. Uh, if you do see it before I get a chance to call you, uh, I'm sorry. I'm hoping to try and call you to let you know I made it here safely. But I'm not sure how good the reception is. So, see everybody later.